Hi everyone, welcome back to Anisi Sky Divine Palace and in this message I will discuss God is Light. The scripture I will be reading is in John chapter 1 verse 5. The scripture states, This then is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. God light is so powerful that you see how when the sun hits you and you be like, okay, there's some bright light right now. God's light is a billion times brighter than the sun. Y'all need to understand that there is not one drop of darkness in God. Not one. God is full of light and light only. Okay? This world, on the other hand, is full of darkness. And that is frustrating to God. So when people do not obey God, that's frustrating to him. Because how could you disobey a supreme being who took the time out of their day to make you stop being brainwashed by the things of this world i'm telling you it is not gonna be beneficial in the long run it is only temporary on the other hand God's ways are not temporary. Because why? Because he made everything. He is the one that created this planet that you're on. He created you. He created your family. He created the animals. He created the houses. He created the land. He created everything. So how could you not follow him? Just tell me how. Please, please tell me how. This is what I just thought about. Do you guys not realize that you are going against God if you do not follow him fully because all the dark things that you do in your life, it affects God, not in like a negative way. But it shows God who you are as a person. It shows God that you don't care that you are going up against a spiritual being that made you. And do you not understand how aggravating that is? But the difference is God loves everyone. When I mean everyone, I mean from the little ant on the floor okay god loves every living creature from the plants to the animals to the humans to to everything he's ever made and when you try to destroy what he made do you not understand how frustrating that is that's like you building a house from scratch and then one of those people that destroy homes come the next day destroy the house do you not understand how upsetting that is after all the hard work you put in listen i don't care what team you are on good or evil listen everybody need to hear this god made the people that are evil too but not saying that he made them that way no they became that way. But at the end of the day, God made you. So you need to fix up yourself. Tighten up. Fasten your seatbelt. Pick up that Bible and read. Because listen, when it's too late, it is going to be too late. And there's no coming back. There's no coming back. So I suggest you fight through it. Like, fight. Like, like, even if you don't want to do it, 
just try just try because once once god sees that you're trying he will help you as long as you put in the effort look at it like this the more evil you do the less you'll feel happy the more good you do god will give you happiness and then on top of that god will help you through your every move and every step but when you do evil who's gonna help you the devil ain't helping you He's just recruiting you to do his dirty work for him. And guess what? God picks people to help him because he will help us through the process. That's how much he cares about us. So God uses people as well, but he helps us through our every step. The devil doesn't. He could care less. Do you not understand that the more evil you do, the worse you're going to feel? And to me, you're harming yourself. You're setting yourself up. So why not do good so you can see the results that you want to see? Why do you think that a lot of celebrities have health problems, depression, that they try to get over through drugs and all this other stuff? Why do you think that? Because what they are doing is not good. So if they already got to deal with that, what makes you think that you're not going to have to deal with it too? So instead, do good, be good, spread good. Just because some people are highly favored by the devil do not mean that they are highly favored by God. And if I was you, I would want to be highly favored by the Most High, which is God in heaven, because he has all the power and I would rather have eternal peace than eternal torment. Would you rather suffer for the rest of your life or have peace? For all eternity I think you all can answer that very intellectually because if you pick suffer for the rest of your life then something gotta be wrong so life ain't easy and God ain't say that oh I'm gonna make your life easy no nobody's life is easy but the difference is you have to change your mindset. You have to change how you think. Because look, yes, you could have a bad day, but then pick it up the next day. Like, don't bring yourself down. Try to stay uplifted. Lift yourself up encourage yourself you don't always need encouragement from other people there's nothing wrong with encouraging yourself because then you're gonna start saying okay so other people don't have to take credit for what i'm doing so i, I like encouraging myself once you turn your light to god god gonna shine his stage light right on you he gonna say, here you go. I'm putting all my all my light on you and I'm gonna let you live your life the way I want you to live it and you gonna you gonna be blessed because you following my laws and my commandments because you're supposed to. Listen, we do not have a choice. There's no choice. It's either, it's either you with God or you're not. And if you're not with God, you're doomed. So wake up, see the reality, and obey God. He made you. And I'm going to keep saying it because, yes, you also oh, you thought the devil made you. thought the devil. Do you not realize that? The kingdom of darkness, the ruler of darkness, he didn't make you. So why would he care about you? Why would somebody that didn't make you care about you as much as somebody that did make you? So listen, God made you, the devil ain't make you. So tighten up, because look, that means that God cares way more about you than the devil because he thought about you he put you in his mind and he said okay let me make you let me put the features all together let me add this let me add that 
He put his thought into making you. If the devil didn't make no thought of you, you wasn't a thought. You only been a thought when you came on this earth. And then he was like, another thing. Y'all are following the kingdom of darkness. Who got kicked out of heaven. So if he got kicked out of heaven, where you gonna go? You think you're gonna go to heaven because you're not them? Mm -mm. You wanna follow them? So you gonna follow them where they at? You gonna go right where they at? Right where they at? Downstairs in the basement. That's where you're going to go. Right downstairs. You was not going in the attic. So you want to go in the basement? So go go live in the basement then. (sighs) Listen. I am only just trying to help you. That's all I am trying to do. Is help you. Because we, yes, we have free will. Yes, we can do whatever we feel like doing. But the way that God approves us uh, for us to do. Yeah, we can do things freely. But as long as God approves what we're doing freely. Two different things. And then we do not have a choice. We have two choices. Do we want to go with God? Or do we want to go with the devil? And I think that I would rather go to the light because, listen, there's no sufferings. There's no, mm -mm, I'm going this way. Y'all can go right. I'll go left. You that it's a bad idea to go right. Go to the light. Do not go to the right. Okay? I know this world wants to make you feel like, oh, going to the light or worshiping God is bad but how how if when you worship God good things happen how could you not want good things to happen in your life so you only want bad things to happen because of the temporary satisfaction, the temporary clout, the temporary fame, the temporary... God do not care about fame. He could care less. He got all the clout. Look, if the things on this earth held so much weight, go, go ahead. Pick anybody's name that comes to mind. Say that person's name out loud. Then I'm going to say God's name. And we're going to pick who name, hold, who name hold more weight. Let me wait. It don't matter who it is. It, it could be the richest person on this planet. And I, you put their name up on the board and I put God's name up on the board. Who name going to hold more weight? You could put a billion people name on the board and I will just put God one time. Who name still going to outweigh the, the other names? Who name holds more weight? And it's only three letters. Three letters. And it holds more weight than every name on this earth. Every single name. So that should already tell you how much weight, how much power, how much how much authority God has just by his name. Just by his name. So why wouldn't you obey a superior being whose name alone holds all the weight? His name holds This whole earth. No other name could top God's name. So why wouldn't you listen? Why would you go against God? If his name already by itself holds all that weight. Do you not realize right before you go do something evil, God could see that. God knows 
when, where, why, how, everything. He knows why you did it, when you're going to go do it, how you did it, because he sees everything. You cannot hide anything from God. Nothing is hidden from God. Even your deepest secrets, God knows. Anything that you think God doesn't know, he knows everything. So, why would you go up against someone who knows everything about you? Repeat after me. God is good. God is great. God is all-knowing. And God is all-powerful. Listen, this is how you know God is in full control. He gives you those ideas that you come up with. He gives you those thoughts. He gives you those actions. But it's up to you whether or not you want to do them for a good cause or for a bad cause. Because remember, we have free will. But at the end of the day, he still gave you that idea. He still gave you that thought. He still gave you that plan. It didn't come from you. Yeah, it came out of your brain, but he gave it and signaled it to your brain to then do whatever you need to do to make it come to life. It was him. It wasn't just you. So how dare you disobey God? Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every time I post a new video.